Hi everyone and welcome back about heading to episode 7 of Until We Meet Again. If I seem a bit tired, I've just come from the gym and it's also in the 30s here in the UK, which is nice. So I might be a bit sweaty, try not to lift my arms too much. And it's been about a week, maybe a little bit more since I watched the episodes. So we'll get a quick refresher while watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Straight into a slap. Everyone knows. Yeah, but you're in a time where, you know, it's still really looked down upon. Oh yeah, toxic masculinity. He definitely does. He does care about people's opinions more than his son. I know it's part of the show and obviously respect. I would knock the hell out of my <laughs> For some reason, I thought I was past this episode. So this was after the red thread moment. Okay. <laughs> Everyone just making compromises so that they can be alone. ทำขนมอยู่ดีๆมันเหมือนภาพแบบธรรมดาของบัตรเองมีหลานสาวแล้วภาพมีหลานมั้ยล่ะญาติฝั่งแม่ก็มีแค่ป้าที่อยู่
ดีเลยวันนี้เราจะได้มีเวลาอยู่ด้วยกันนานหน่อยอย่าเอ็ดส์เอ็ดส์ดัตนายต And it's such a sadness because we're seeing them have this lovely meal together, spending time, and then we know by the end of that evening they're both dead. I really want to know how his father feels because we've seen him so aggressive and cold. I wonder how he truly feels about his son dying. Well, I know what I would be doing if I invited you over. Well, and they were so close, to just living together, getting away from everyone. What's wrong? Oh, it's such a sad. I see why people got drawn into this and these type of moments. In that, you know the outcomes, and you know the sadness, you feel it, and you kind of want them to have their happy ending, but they technically never do. Yeah, it won't be too long until we're both dead. I'm not gonna finish the rest of the song. There we go. I guess with Kwon, this is where you see the true care for him and how they built this up, considering he was so cold at the beginning. I guess they, yeah, they will be. No matter what, they will always come back. It's and re be reincarnated. Oh, here comes the dad. Ah, uh, this is where you found him. Yeah, but he's not his dad. Are you way too violent? Like there's, there's no need to keep hitting your child repeatedly like this. It's lucky that oh, I would. Mm. Oh, the neighbors. All oh, right, yeah. And then the sh shift in music. What other shows has this actor been in? Is this um? Oh, it's um. Thingy's brother. Yeah. Dean's brother. The way he's looking at him.
and then the dramatic music. Well, that's why they keep prying into it. Of course they want to know. Oh, is he going to send a picture of him with Palm so that Dean can just come up, <laughs> like, arrive? He's being like a brother. He's being sneaky. See? Speak a phone. Oh, the sister. I guess they got their own soul. They played FIFA. Oh, they just come over. Why? Yeah. Yeah, yep. The two S's all together. Who just happened to come along to this house? The two D's. Actually, there's three D's because they're all there together on the sofa. I mean, this is their first time as a couple being alone at his place. <coughs> their memories and their dreams are getting more vivid, closer together as the episodes are going along. Him too. Him too. In. I guess this is now for both of them the mystery unraveling itself so that maybe they can research it 
and understand what's going on and why they know these names. There, again, the actor was quite good in this part. Maybe he wants to do stuff inside. I mean, this is kind of an innocence to their relationship. <laughs> Don't be too loud. Because <laughs> it's you and probably would have anyway. Wants this key to his car, his place. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to learn. <laughs> this is just ad living right now. They do this a lot with these actors, I've noticed. I like how his name is just in all capitals. This product placement is really bad. I'm sure the makeup is really good. It's just the actual placement of it. See, this is why you could be clearer to him. So in my in my case, Palm sh is a bit to blame here. See, he says it. So I'm sorry, but you should have been quite honest with Alex, and he would have stopped. No one else needed to hear. I'm a bit annoyed with Palm in this moment. Oh, calm down. He knows that. I'm sure it's the sister he ends up with. Which just makes me like, such a weird friendship group. Yeah, he literally just said he would stop. Well, well no, he literally just backed off. Yeah, literally, that's why he said he believed him. 
And clearly there's a respect for Alex as well, how he speaks about him. Mm-hmm. Isn't it just coincidental that she just happened to bring him at that moment? <laughs> what did you expect? Be quite nice. I want to know why they're with team right now. Clearly something's going to go on. Wind's going to turn off. Oh, advertisement as well. Oh, look who happens to just be there. Oh, he is outright flirting. Also, aren't you on the swim team? You shouldn't be eating stuff like this. Oh. So they're definitely, definitely fooling around. <laughs> I get why people are interested in them, because we don't know much, and you want to know more, because that's what happens with side couples, you want to know them a little bit more, because they're a bit more mysterious. Yeah, he's listening. It's just strange what you're asking him. I'm guessing, is he like a detective or something? Journalist? Okay. That's how he he can help. How cool he is. Hmm. 
Okay, that okay, that makes sense. He wants to find out what happened to them, why he has memories. So we're getting a bit more of detective work now to push the story forward. Nineteen. I'll try and be a bit quick today because uh, it's been a bit of a nightmare to film this episode. Uh, it cut off at points. Um, so that was frustrating, having to then, you know, re-record parts. My, unfortunately my dog's sick right now, poor little thing. Um, so I'm, I'll make it quick, sorry. Anyway, uh, I did, I did feel like we got a nice bit of information at the end, you know, of he clearly wants to research just to find out what happened to them, why these memories are affecting them, why they have them. So that was pushing that plot forward now and bringing that to the forefront and Sim being a part of that because of his father being a policeman. I will say in total you could feel that they were padding out the episode to make it as long as it is. I actually felt like they could have taken away quite a few moments of silence. As, as much as silence can speak, sometimes it felt a bit too long or even scenes I just felt could have been cut down. I, I liked the use of flashback and then to present time and it was them remembering that time, especially because that time they remember and what we're seeing is really significant because it's their last time alive for In and Corn. And with the father, I mean, it starts with a slap. You know, that's the first thing you hear. So, uh, and the father's very abusive. In's father is very abusive. So, unfortunately, you get a sense of why they felt they couldn't escape. And with Corn's father being a shady character it's also going to be hard for them but they were so close to having their happy ever after or at least a form of it but we are talking about a different time period um and so you know things are very different and i don't think people realize that unless you know you talk to someone from that period or you read up on it and especially culture wise as well in different countries it's all different uh there yeah there was that there was a lot of just overuse of s silence and things to pad out episodes. They didn't need to do that. It, it was a strong episode in itself about those moments. I think they detracted from it. And with Alex, I was annoyed at first, but then he genuinely said, I will back off. Just tell me the truth. And that's what annoyed me with Palm and this whole moment. It was like, if you just told Alex the truth, like he could have just said it then, he would have backed off. And what was interesting is, clearly there is actual respect between Alex and Dean, and in general for that year group, because Wynn kind of defended Alex. So it's clear that Alex, as much as he might be a bit of a player or whatever he is, he's quite to his word. He doesn't like to steal people, like so he doesn't like the whole idea of cheating. Clearly, Dean and him actually had a friendship, even if it was minor, throughout the year. So it shows with Alex's character that he's willing to back off. And so it was like, okay, as much as your character was a bit creepy, you actually have morals. Uh, so that was nice to see because it was just like, clearly he's sticking to his word and they know him better. I don't know if Alex will be in it again. I don't think he's even needed to be in it again. Um, but we'll see because we're only half, we're not even halfway through the show. I think there's 17 episodes. So not until we get past episode 8 will we really into it. But it, it's definitely picking up. It's definitely now saying we want to find out about them. And I wonder what kind of flashbacks we'll get with Corn and In Because that's their last time alive. But we, we don't want to see that moment yet. So I imagine it might be flashbacks to happier times for them. I'm not sure with them, like how they get incorporated now because of where these flashbacks are heading. And I don't know. So um, thank you for watching. That was episode seven and I will be back next week with episode eight.